video, we are going to be making use of Markdown, which is a really simple markup language that will be used to make a slide deck. So if you've ever made slides for a presentation before, you've probably used something like PowerPoint, Microsoft, or OpenOffice, or something similar to that to make slides. Markdown, the nice thing about it is it's very simple, it's very lightweight, and we can just quickly get our ideas down on paper. We can convert that into a slide deck. So I'm going to go over some of the main tools and concepts that we'll be using before we actually dive in. So I have here just a bunch of Wikipedia links basically and some other uh, supplementary links that I'll be all uh, that will be found in the description of this video. So as I mentioned, we'll be using Markdown. This is the language that'll be writing the slides in. If you don't know it, if you haven't used it before, you can just follow along with this video. It's pretty self-explanatory, it's pretty easy to pick up on. Um, there's more information that I'll also leave in the description on Markdown, it's like a cheat sheet if you're interested. In. So what we'll be doing is be writing the slides in Markdown and then we'll be converting that slide uh, via something called Pandoc. Pandoc is just a general Linux utility or Mac utility or just a command line utility generally that allows you to convert from one document format to another uh, very easily. So we'll be using that to convert Markdown into something called LaTeX, specifically Beamer, which is the presentation version or the presentation class for LaTeX. And if you're not familiar with LaTeX, it's basically a, a tool that mostly academics use to write papers in. It's very good at rendering equations. Uh, of course, not limited to that, but that's one thing it's quite good at. Uh, Beamer is kind of the presentation analog to that, and as a result, also has a lot of the nice features that LaTeX has in presentation format. So we'll be using Pandoc to convert our markdown to LaTeX. And to give you an example or a flavor of something that uh, is in sort of the Beamer presentation style. These are a set of slides that I just had on my website that was uh, that were written in Beamer LaTeX. And you can see here there's lots of equations and uh, figures and just you kind of get a sense of what the format of the slides look like. If you're curious what uh, generated these slides, specifically the LaTeX, I've also linked to that in the description below as well if you want to check out the LaTeX that is responsible for generating these slides. Okay, so that's kind of the general overview. We're going to be creating a set of slides that's just pretty stripped down, pretty simple, and again, allows us to very easily get an idea on paper. In mind, let's go ahead and navigate over to in my case, the command line to create a markdown file. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a file that I'm gonna call presentation underscore example dot MD, where MD is the extension for markdown. And what I'm gonna do first is I'm just going to use markdown to create a title slide. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type in percent, uh, let's just, I'm just gonna write this out and sort of explain as I go, title of slide, uh, let's know actually title of talk, uh, percent sign speaker name and then we'll also say percent sign date of talk so this is kind of a similar type of idea as to what is found on this slide here we have the title of the talk the name a date and there's some other stuff too uh, but we'll kind of ignore that for now so with these three lines I'm going to go ahead and save this thing here and I'm going to run the following command to convert what we have thus far which is not much into a Beamer template. So I'm gonna type in into the command line. So I'm, I'm using Vim, so basically I'm accessing the command line through Vim by this uh, semicolon exclamation point. Uh, you can also exit to the command line to actually execute this command. I'm just doing it all on the same screen for simplicity's sake. If you are using Vim as well, feel free to follow exactly along with me. So I'm just gonna say pandoc-t Beamer the name of the file that we're writing content in, which is presentation example MD dash O for output, and then the name of the file, the PDF file that I want to be generated. So I'm going to call that output.pdf. I'm going to go ahead and run that. It's going to do its thing. And then what I want to do is I want to, again from the command line, run the command open the name of the output file that we just generated. And then if we do that, we see that we have our title slide here, title of the talk formatted very nicely at the top there and the center there, speaker name and then date of talk. So obviously you would fill this in with your own uh, you know, relevant information there. So kind of neat that you get that much for so little. Um, so it's just three lines there for a bit of contrast to give you kind of, uh, if I was to go over back to these slides here and show you the source that was responsible for generating uh, these slides, 
there's a lot more slides here, so there's a lot more content. But even if we look at the uh, portion of the slides that are responsible for generating the title, uh, there's, a, there's a lot more there. It's a little bit more messy. Um, and as we go on here, you'll see that the markdown formatting is quite clean, quite nice. Might not be as um, useful for more full featured presentations, but you can still do a very full featured presentation in Markdown for sure. Um, but it's really effective at just getting an idea down very quickly, writing it down in Markdown, and then converting it using Pandoc to something that you can actually present to people if you want to. So I'm going to go back to the command line. What we need now is we need, we have our title slide, so we're going to have just a, uh, let's have our next slide in the talk. So I'm going to say hashtag title of slide. So in Markdown, hashtags are prefixed to lines that correspond to headings. So if you're familiar with HTML, you have H1, H2, H3, so on and so forth. Those are your heading tags, and those determine how big the text are, the, how big the text is for the heading that you're trying to write. Uh, in Markdown, it's a similar concept where you have a heading denoted by a single hashtag, you have a subheading denoted by double hashtag, so this is the uh, subheading, and then you keep going down for uh, sub subheadings and so on and so forth with the more hashtags you prefix the line with. So I'm going to go ahead and just delete those for now. We just want one slide with a title, and we can say this is a slide. Uh, let's make another slide, let's say title of slide 2, and let's say on this slide we want to have a list. So in Markdown, what you can do for creating a list is very simple. You just hit this dash key, which is close to your zero or equal sign, and then there's whatever you want in your list. So this is item of list. Uh, maybe this is another item of list. And let's say, etc. So if we, let's just go ahead and see what we have so far. Let me save this. Let me run the pandoc command that we ran before. So that seems to have done everything we wanted it to do. And then let me open the file. So if we open it, we have our title slide again. We have this slide that we've created with the title and also the content here. And then we have another slide where we have a list. So um, again, you can use your imagination to see how you can put together things that might make sense for you for whatever you might want to be presenting. It's a lot easier to deal with than PowerPoint when you're um, you know, just trying to get something very quick down on paper. All right, so now let's go ahead and make a third slide. So let's call it title of slide three. And let's say on this slide, what we want to have is an equation. So the way that we can tell Markdown that we want to write in an equation is by writing in two dollar signs. And then in between these dollar signs, we'll put our math. And then we'll end that with two more dollar signs. And the way that you specify the equation uh, in Markdown is the same as you would in LaTeX. So I'll leave a link in the description to this video of how you would actually do that. So if you have an equation that you want to render in a slide deck that you're working on, um, you know, you, you might want to figure out how to represent those symbols in the slide using LaTeX in Markdown. I'm just going to write in kind of a gibberish, uh, let's just say sum AB plus XY, uh, let's see, infinity, uh, yeah, so it's a gibberish math equation, but it will render into mathematical symbols, and we'll take a look at what that looks like. So let me go ahead and write that. Let me convert it with Pandoc. Let's see, that did its thing. And then let me go ahead and open the output. So we have here this nice rendering of a sum with a underscore A and B, X, Y, infinity, plus sign, uh, just random gibberish that doesn't mean anything at all. It was just the first couple symbols that came into my head. So another thing you might want to do in a presentation is to change the font of the text that you're writing in the slide to emphasize certain things. So let's create a new slide, uh, title of slide four. And for instance, you might want to make some text italicized. So let's actually create a list. And the first item on this list will be an italicized item. So the way that you italicize text in Markdown is you prefix it with an asterisk, and then you write the text. So this text is uh, in italics, and then you close it off with the same symbol. Let's make another item in this list where the text is bold. Bold text in Markdown, similar idea, only now there's two asterisks, 
and then you write the text this this text is in bold again close it off with the same symbol uh, if you want to strike out the text like write a line through it then you can prefix it with two tildes so that's shift the command the key right next to your one probably this text has a line through it and then close it off with the same symbol so uh, let's just go ahead and write this convert it to beamer that looks like that one okay and then let's go ahead and open the output and see what happens so we've got italicized text bolded and then also uh, struck struck out strike out text with a line through it okay good awesome let me hit enter there uh, another thing that's probably useful to do is to include images maybe graphs or other things that you have uh, that you want to have be part of your presentation slide deck so let's make another slide here title of slide 5 and then here we're going to show you how to embed images into your presentation so uh, I do have an image just kind of hanging out on my uh, in the folder where this file is so if I do an LS here uh, we've got the output PDF we've got the example uh, markdown file and then we also have something that I have here a test image .png. so that image is what we will embed into this for example's sake so in this the way that we embed an image is we say exclamation point open curly uh, sorry not open curly brace open square bracket and then we're gonna put the caption in here so this is the caption of the figure figure and then we'll do open parentheses right after this, the square brackets. And this is the location and the name of the file. So the name of the file is testimage.png. So the path is just, it looks in the directory with which the markdown file is. So I don't need to specify a path since it's right in the same directory. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. Go ahead and use Pandoc to convert it to Beamer. So done that. And then I'm going to output the example and here we have this uh, lovely lovely picture here and we see the figure one caption right there so I just I want to emphasize that this this is you know there's quite a lot here for such a small amount of text uh, for instance I'm just gonna uh, kind of give you an example of like the list items for instance in LaTeX uh, this is you know this is really easy to do in markdown to specify a list in LaTeX you would do something like you know begin itemize and then end itemize and then you would say like within here you would say item uh, you know item of list and then you would also say let's it another item of list so you you would just item of list uh, let me just finish it off here I guess etc so you know one is definitely cleaner than the other it's a lot easier just to kind of write dash and then the content of the list item just right after it it's also just a little bit cleaner to look at it's a lot um, you know when you think out loud you don't think of begin itemize slash item no, you probably don't so it's a little bit easier to have the markdown kind of right there um, and then also just to convert it directly to a slide deck um, so yeah I, I think this is something that's kind of neat hopefully it's helpful to you if you have a presentation coming up give this a shot hopefully it's useful to you uh, thanks again for watching and have a great day.